All right, so here we have this uh, specialized Turbo Como with the Gates carbon belt drive here. It's got this uh, 50 tooth sprocket on the front here. And as you can see, this is the four spoke, 104 millimeter standard uh, spider on it. And what we're gonna be trying to do is put this 60 tooth um, on it and it unfortunately has five spokes so we're going to have to put an adapter ring on this uh, one thing to notice is that the these from one side to the other it's not the same offset so when it's on this side taking a look at the uh, kind of the bottom here you can see that this this portion of the plate is farther away from this just based on the curvature of this. But when you flip it over, this portion of the plate is closer to, this, to, the, uh, to the teeth. So we need to be really careful in how we deal with this to make sure that the chain offset doesn't wind up getting, um, getting uh, messed with here. Yeah, so the goal is to uh, adapt something that was originally made for a four-spoke 104 millimeter BCD to this ring here, which is a five-spoke 130 millimeter BCD. Now I've gone ahead and purchased this, which is a 60 tooth five-spoke made for 130 millimeter and there is a ring, an adapter ring, that will adapt the four spoke 104 to the five spoke 130. This is made by Kai Cycles, very, very neat little device that they've come up with. Um, but there are details to its use that I've had to figure out, and that's why I'm making this video to help other people to understand this. So with respect to this, uh, these Gates carbon drive sprockets, what happens here is that there is a kind of two, two sides to this and, and they're not both the same. So what we have here is, maybe come up here a little bit closer and see if we can notice this, that, that this side here is further away from this than this side. Hope that's visible. And how it works is this. So, uh, these teeth are roughly 440 thousandths wide, 0 0.44 inches. And there's a spine in the middle that's roughly one millimeter to 40 thousandths. So what you have is basically 200 thousandths and then a 40 thousand spine and then 200 thousandths here. That makes up the 440. Right now, what's interesting is this. I'm going to place this on the table here and I've got a 220 pin, it's 0.22 inches. And if I take this 220 pin and kind of check it around here, there's a little bit of imprecision to the, to the, uh, the way this is made. But nevertheless, what I've discovered and makes some sense is that this surface here is aligned with a plane which goes right smack dab through the center of this ring. So this, this surface here, which appears to be inset, is actually going right smack dab through the center. And this surface here is outward. Now the thickness of each one of these is about an eighth of an inch, about 0.125. And so now when you're replacing this, um, when you're gonna be doing what I'm doing here, which is replacing the original four spoke with the five spoke. What's very important to understand is the orientation of the original, the original sprocket, because this can go on two ways. And in addition to this being two ways, the spider could actually be one of two ways. Like uh, for example, on the Thai Cycles website, their spider is out this way, basically facing you where the screws are gonna go into it in this direction. And the original sprocket fits onto it like this. And in fact, not only does it fit on like this, but the, 
but the, the, the surface that the original sprocket fit onto the spider was already projected outward. And this is important because what we're gonna do and what the tie cycles websites recommend you do is you have the spider here, you attach their adapter ring, and then you attach the sprocket. So notice that now everything is basically coming axially towards you. There's a stack up effect here, right? And so we have, once again, the original spider, the adapter ring, and the sprocket. Now, as long as the sprocket's original position was like this, in other words, it was on the projected outward side, then what you'll do is you'll take the spider, put the adapter on it, and flip the sprocket over, right? Because the neat thing is, is that the thickness that they've made this exactly the same thickness as this. And as long as you're able to flip the orientation over from the original thickness, then it will work perfectly. And you'll get back to your original chain line position. But if the original one wasn't like that, like for example, if, you're, if your spider is like this and the, and the sprocket was like this, in other words, that it's kind of, the, 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 it's not projected out, it's, it's, it's more flat uh, in, inward this way. So now if you take this and you add this, you're, you're adding thickness and, and you can't take the thickness back with this. You, you, you're only adding thickness. So your only chance to fix that is to turn it over this way. But the problem with that is kind of how these screws work. They've provided these screws with it where they intend you to do like this here. I had my glasses on here, but let's see. This fits on here like this. They intend you to do one of these here. And this will work as long as because this screw here is barely small enough to sneak through here, right? So as long as you're, is this, as long as you have a situation where you have the spider, this thing, and then this thing axially stacking out this way, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> but if you don't have that situation, if you have a situation where you really need the spider to be on the same side as this, then this screw arrangement that they provided, it just won't work. Um, yeah. So the Thai website does, does give some kind of vague indication to this. It, like that you can orient this thing and change your chain line position and, and pay attention. But the, you know, it's, it's a one sentence thing and um, it's not really easy to understand. So I'm just trying to make this video uh, to help other people to understand these implications in more words than a single sentence and understand why these certain things happen. And, um, and what I'm gonna do about this is gonna be a little bit different from what's shown on the Thai Cycles website. So here I am on the Thai Cycles website and you can see that this uh, adapter they have, and they have another version for uh, Shimano as well, uh, which is kind of more of an X pattern. But they have a series of pictures on the website here where they show exactly what they've done. And so here we can see kind of how they intend this to be used in this particular example. And what we see is that the spider here kind of is facing towards us, we see the adapter ring placed on to the spider and we see this Gates carbon drive here. And what's a bit subtle to notice is exactly on which side they have this. So they have this on you know, what we might call the shallow side here. So, um, you know, there's a there's a side where if if you take a look at the kind of how the light 
falls around the bottom of this sprocket. This side, you see that the the face of these these spokes is really towards you. And then on the other side, you can see that just kind of the curvature here, it's a bit different. So from this side, it's deeper. The spokes are further away from you than when compared to this side. And this is how they have it mounted on there. So they have the shallow side mounted on this, in this particular example. So this will work as long as the original orientation had the, basically this surface here mounted on the spider. Because what happens is that the, this little adapter ring will, will bring everything outward by 125 thousandths. And it just so happens that the 125 thousandths thickness of this kind of puts it right back where it needs to be. So in this orientation, this kind of stacking effect where we're stacking all in this direction will work. And that little bolt arrangement that they have here uh, works out pretty well. And, and you know, this tie cycles website has several different examples. And here's the close up of the bolt. And you, what you see here is that this comes very close to this bolt. Um, so like I say, it, it's pretty clever. And as long as it's this kind of stacking, it will work exactly as shown on the website. So now let me see if I could find that little, um, sentence that they have here. And so, um, it says it's designed for maximum compatible Gates carbon drive systems and it may offset the train line of traditional train uh, tr drive trains. It is possible to reduce this offset with some setups by spacing the crank set slightly outward. Please consult a competent mechanic for installation setup assistance. So there are ways of dealing with this offset that may be, depending on the surface, the original surface that this is mounted from, mounted onto the spider. Um, and if you, know, you kind of had bad luck and this, it was, if it was the, the surface that's currently mounted onto this adapter ring that was originally mounted onto the spider, that would definitely cause this whole thing to be shifted outward. But in this case, what, what I would hope in order for this to work properly is that it would be this surface which was originally mounted flush to the spider because if it is then turning over the sprocket like this kind of fixes that you know, this adds an offset and the turning over subtracts that offset right back and gets you exactly where you were all right so here it is finished uh, i did it a little bit differently than they recommend what i wound up doing is drilling a hole here and here in this adapter plate and just using these regular uh, chain ring bolts on it. I had to make the chain ring bolts uh, on both the same side and so what I had to do was grind into the sprocket a little bit on that one spoke uh, so that it would meet up there really good. Uh, there's another thing that, that, that kind of caught me by surprise. It's a little bit funny, but take a look at how close the sprocket comes to that frame. I mean, it's about half a millimeter, certainly no more than a millimeter. But anyway, here we go. It's a 60-tooth sprocket on what was a 50-tooth bike. I'm going to go ahead and give it for a ride.